I'm on a journey across Wales, exploring the hidden histories of our lost landmarks. My next stop is Penros on the Fleen Peninsula, where there's a village with an extraordinary past. This site was once an RAF base, but in 1949, it took on a whole new role. It became a safe haven for families who had been forced to flee their homeland during the dark days of war. In the North Wales countryside, a corner of Poland emerged. It was a community that had fought fascism and escaped oppression. To learn the full story, I'm meeting Michal, who's worked at the village for nearly 30 years. Following the Second World War, the Polish forces remained in the UK due to the fact that the borders shifted westwards and they couldn't return back to Poland, which was now under Soviet control. And Polish resettlement camps were set up around the UK, a couple of hundred of them to house the Polish armed forces. After that, obviously, people were then looking for places to, to stay permanently. The ones that were too old or infirm and couldn't go out into civilian life needed a place to stay, and Penros was chosen for that reason because there used to be an RAF base here. The barracks were accessible to be used as housing. So from 1949 onwards, uh, Penros became a housing association and families also then started arriving. They wanted to retain the language, the culture, traditions and to live with friends and grow all together. This is the Cross of Freedom and it stood here since the very early days of the village. At its base, there's a simple inscription carved in three languages, Polish, Welsh, and English. It's a symbol of hope and love for a mother country far away. Lutzina came from Poland to live here with her late husband. What does it mean to you to be part of this community? It's quite important because Still, you know, in in the core of my heart, of or, or core of my being, I am Pol uh, Polish. So I know that I have adjust myself to living in the different world with the, with a different culture, with the uh, country, with a different language and culture, and so on. But still, there is, you know, there is something about Poland. It belongs to me. Yeah. 200 people once lived in this village. There are far fewer now, and this enclave of Poland is on the cusp of change. The plans are for the future to redevelop the site. The buildings behind will be the first phase to be demolished, and then there will be bungalows and, and some houses put up. And the only original ones that will be left will be the church and garden. Penros will be serving a, a different purpose. The Polish generation that, that it served, that has now dwindled, and it will now be set up for, for the local community. Soon, this village will look and feel quite different. But the site will always be a precious link to the past. Eva's parents worked in the village, it's where she grew up. Everything was done as it would have been done in Poland. All the traditions that give you those values that shape what you do and, you know, you continue those yourself. Um, so, you know, if somebody says to me, how do you celebrate Christmas? Well, we do it the Polish way. There's a lot of key events that happened in my life happened in this place. I got married in this church. Everything really is connected to this place. It's this bit of Poland in Wales and the overriding memory is that, you know, when I think of this place, it's home.